Hey, this Thanksgiving was extra special for an Army veteran and father from Clearwater who desperately needed a new heart. News Channel 8's Justin Schecker has that heartwarming update from Tampa General. Hector Fernandez put his life on the line serving in the U.S. Army for a decade. His doctors over here at Tampa General Hospital told him he would not be able to go home until he received a new heart. We were scared because we weren't sure I was going to get that transplant in time. The time was 2.50 in the morning Saturday when a doctor and nurses at TGH told Hector Fernandez that his family's prayers were answered. And they said a donor heart has been found. I immediately broke out into tears and I said my suffering is over. It's been seven years since the Army veteran and father of four from Clearwater learned he had a congenital heart defect. By Sunday morning, Fernandez was in the operating room after the donor heart from a young man in Alabama arrived. I started walking 26 hours after the transplant and uh, I, I've never felt as good as I have in years. And uh, I, I was, it's a true miracle what they've done for me here at Tampa General. His wife Amy has visited him every day in the ICU. She says she's already noticing a difference. Oh, absolutely. He's stronger. His color is better today. Just the energy in his voice is better. Just, I mean, today he was he wanted to do two laps around the unit. <laughs> the doctors are telling him, no, let, let's wait. <laughs> Since Eight on Your Side first shared his story on Veterans yeah. Day, Fernandez says he's received many donations to help pay off medical bills. I totally thank you, Justin, for making that happen and all the folks that be out in WFLA. Um, so appreciative because it's taken a huge burden off my mind. After this life-changing moment, Thanksgiving takes on a new meaning for Fernandez, 15 years after losing his mother to suicide. I had that cloud hanging over me every Thanksgiving holiday, but now uh, that's gone. I, I feel like I've had a new chance at life. And Fernandez told me he expects to be here at TGH for another two to three weeks, so he should be home in Clearwater with his wife and children before Christmas. Reporting in Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.